are home uh, Tuesday with the Brewers. They have a nine and a half game lead over second place Texas. And I tell you what, yesterday I watched also that Oakland Texas game. Oakland wins nine to eight. Oakland has a big lead. All right. And then Ruffton O'Dor, is he finally catching fire? He goes three for four yesterday, scores a run, three RBIs, has a stolen base. Oh, did I say something about a stolen base? Well, which base was it? Let's see. was about 25 feet off third base. No no kidding, okay? And Buster sets, and as soon as Buster lets his leg, Odor sprints towards home. He probably beats that throw to home by, I don't know, maybe a second or two. He was clearly safe, steals home, ignites the Rangers. Now, they do lose the game, okay? But what a comeback by Texas. And another player who's hot for Texas right now is Drupal Cabrera. And I love his dribble Cabrera for many reasons. Shortstop, second base, third base eligible. I love multiple positional people. So he's a corner, he's a third, he's a middle, he's a shortstop, he's a second base. Wow. Over the weekend against Oakland, he batted, uh, let's see, 13 times, had five hits. Okay, over his last 15, he's six for 15 with a 400 average. He homered yesterday, he doubled yesterday. As dribbles a streaky type hitter, and it looks like he's in one of those good streaks. Now, they face Chris Sale today in Boston, so I may give him a mulligan today. But as Dribble Cabrera and Odor in Texas, and here's the thing, Texas is 34 and 30. They would be the second wild card right now if the season ended today. They would be the second wild card in the American League. That's right. And uh, they've got these games with the... Red Sox, I love it how these games matter. Right now, they matter. Boston's 34-32, and 32, Texas 34-30. and 30. These games are in Fenway Park. Okay, they start today. They go through Thursday, so it's a big set. We'll, I, I think when we get together towards the end of the week, you know, on Thursday morning, we'll have a better outlook for how these games went. Exciting baseball, so you got to tune in. Okay, got to tune into those. Now, Another team I want to talk about, although they... Has anybody fallen further? I mean, really. Has anybody fallen further than the Seattle Mariners? Do you remember the Seattle Mariners? Do you remember the, your Mariners of April when they were leading by far the American League West, you know, and just ru seemingly running away with the division? And it was, oh, man, what's going on with the Mariners? And it, this is just incredible. Wow. It's incredible now. They're 28 and 41. They've lost four out of 10. They're 18 games behind Houston, mired in last place. Four and a half games behind the fourth place Angels, going nowhere. But yesterday, they were playing uh, at home, again against the Angels. And what a day it was for Edwin Encarnacion. Today, 
Edwin Encarnacion. Not only was he did he hit number four hundred yesterday. Preceding that, he hit number three ninety nine. Yeah. So two home runs on the day yesterday. Now here's why I want to talk about Edwin Encarnacion for a moment. Sure, he's owned in most leagues, no doubt about it. But don't you think Seattle's going to trade him? I really do. And where's a good landing spot for Edwin Encarnacion? Do you remember me talking about the Red Sox a few minutes ago? Uh, yeah. And do you remember the fact that they really don't have anything good going on at first base? Moreland stays hurt. Chavez can't hit. Edwin Canarcion. And that monster in left field. Edwin is hitting 241. That's about what we can expect. But he's got 18 bombs, 43 RBIs, and 44 runs scored. And can you just imagine, Red Sox fans, Edwin and Canarcion in the middle of things going on in Beantown. I mean, wow. Yeah, you're right, Chappie. Telling you, that home run he hit in the air for the longest time. And while we're talking about the Red Sox, let's pause a moment. Baseball's great. We love it. But I guess you've heard by now what happened to Big Poppy last night. Big Poppy was shot in the Dominican in the leg. He reported first, and that's reported this morning that he suffered some internal injuries. Part of his intestines and all had to be removed. He's in critical condition, but stable. And I don't mind saying this. I've said prayers for Big Poppy. And he needs to be in our thoughts and in our prayers today. And a great ambassador of the game. And I'm a Yankees fan. But I have ultimate respect for the play and the way that Big Poppy has helped folks in the community, both in Dominican and in Boston and other places. Saw a special on Big Poppy a couple years ago where he took time with a special needs child. This is absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy that people would do such a thing. Poppy, you're in my thoughts. So let's talk about some more baseball. Let's move on to the National League. Well, the question from Mark is, Edwin's 100 homers away Hall of Famer. I think if he gets to 500, uh, Mark, he very much could be a Hall of Famer. And, and I think if, if the Red Sox would go pick him up, I think his chances of getting to 100 are a lot quicker. And I think he's going to be traded. I really do. We'll wait and see. Okay, let's talk about the National League. Let's start with the East. And what about Jay Bruce? And the Phillies. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Because, you know, I do those things on a podcast, right? The Phillies, 37 and 28. A one-game lead over the Braves. A five-game lead over the Mets. A seven-game lead over the Nationals. And remember, I told you, look out for the Nationals last week. Don't you remember? I think it was Friday. I said July the 4th is our date of decormation for the Nationals. We'll see, but we'll talk about the Nationals in a moment. The Phils, six days ago, seven days ago, Jay Bruce starts his first game for the Phillies. Okay? And now he has played in six games. Today will be game number seven. He has had 21 at-bats in those six games. He has gone eight for 21. Now, do you expect Jay Bruce to hit 381 for the rest of the year. I do not. But I do know this. I do know him being in the lineup. He's going to get opportunity. He's going to build on his 235 overall average and his 18 home runs and his 39 RBIs. In a week, he hit four homers and drove in 11 runs for the Phillies. Probably going to be the National League Player of the Week this week with his 381 average, four homers, and 11 RBIs. Oh, and don't forget six runs scored. The Phillies are one game up in the National League East, and the reason that they held on this past week was probably Jay Bruce. I still don't like their pitching. I don't like their pitching at all. I still think it's Atlanta's division to win. Okay? And now with them signing Keuchel, it only adds to their starting pitching, which I really wonder if they needed Keuchel. 
I really do. But they got him, and the Braves are a game out. And then you got a team like the Mets and the Nationals. Don't count them out, guys. I'm telling you. And a player that I want to talk about just for just a moment for the Mets, it's like a, a, a renaissance of sorts. Okay? Their third baseman. Former Cincinnati Red great, former New York Yankee great, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier, hitting 258 on the season, five homers and 16 RBIs. But it's like, what has he done lately? And that's what I love talking about, recency. Because in fantasy, that matters, right? Since coming off the IL, okay? Yesterday, two for four, a homer, four RBIs. But over his last six games, over his last six, hitting in pitcher-friendly park, home field for the Mets, okay? He's 7 for 20, 350 average, two homers, seven RBIs. He's not owned in a lot of leagues. My question is to you guys, you're smart people, is Todd Frazier worthy of a pickup in fantasy off the waiver wire? I need your feedback on that one because I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the stats, but do you think Todd Frazier is worthy of an ad? Another team, the Nats. And I told you last week, I think the Nats have some life in them. I think they may be coming around. And yesterday, wow, this game is tied one-to-one, -one, okay? And then up steps to the plate, four batters in a row. Let's see what happened as their game is tied one-to-one. -one. And the Nats going to win the game 5-2. to two. Kendrick, Turner, Eaton, Rendon, back to back to back to back. Four home runs in one inning. The Nats have done that one other time in their, in their history. But a player I want to talk about in fantasy is not Kendrick, is not Turner, is not Eaton, and is not Rendon. For the Nats, I want to talk about Brian Dozier. Yeah, Brian Dozier. Why not? Okay, he's five for his last 16. And we all know Brian Dozier historically gets off to slow starts. So what's new, pussycat, right? I mean, it just goes on. This, he's, he's five for his last 16 with two home runs. He scored four runs. He's driven in four runs. And he did all that at Pitcher Friendly Park in San Diego. Okay. Dozier, are you looking a middle infielder in fantasy? 
I like Dozier right now, and it seems like he's getting hot.